Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Heart of Minecraft, Overworld and Flames, but now we're playing as the Kingdom of Red Rose using a special sub-mod that says it fixes some of the earlier bugs and issues called Hearts of Minecraft, Legacy of the Crazy Adventure. We already have a sub-mod for the Minecraft mod. And we'll begin with the Crafter Legacy. Four years later, after creating new countries called Kingdom of Red Rose, our story is unknown to many people. Let us tell the story of Mighty Crazy Adventure, in which we are led by the Polsky Crafter, who's an incompetent leader, but he, but you know what? It's really cool. Technology works. Over here, we can actually do construction. We can actually do production. We can actually have years 1, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It works! It just works as a certain... <clears throat> person would say, but the Kingdom of Red Rose history. Four years ago, a great tragedy happened. With a slowly increasing zombie plague, every community on the East Coast were in danger in the second biggest country called Crazy Adventure. No one would care about it at that time because the zombie horde was still weak, but with every day they would become stronger and stronger. First player who saw the danger was one of the administrators of Crazy Adventure, Polsky Crafter. He convinced many players to fight them back together, and with the leader of Crazy Adventure, Pozenek, they started first the first expedition, which didn't destroy the zombie horde, but dra drove the enemy away from the borders. However, the zombie horde quickly rebuilt itself, so another expedition was made, and another, and another. With the next expeditions, the zombie horde would be stronger and would rebuild itself even quicker, though. Crazy Adventure would even seek help in surrounding communities, and they would make a deal with the monster's clans to better protect themselves at this moment. Bolski Crafter decided to evacuate everyone which drove Pozen Pozonek mad because he thought that Crazy Adventure can could have defended themselves forever. In the end, they began evacuation, and a Crazy Adventure and many other members of surrounding communities went to the west, where they would prepare defenses against upcoming invasion. When they reached the west coast, they established a new country under the name of Red Rose and proclaimed kingdom which residents put Polsky Crafter in power. After four years, the kingdom expanded, becoming an icon of well-managed country, but this is an illusion. The kingdom of Red Rose is an economical disaster, or economic disaster, where monopolies rule the lands so and people don't have the right to vote. The situation led to strengthening political opposition who want to abolish crafters' rule and recreate the state of Red Rose to make it the glorious nation as it's supposed to be. Nice story, and nice image. Cool. And betrayal. After harsh rule of Polsky could have to worsen when Puzonek ruled Crazy Adventure, our nation is weak is a weak state. We need to change to survive. Followed up with revenge. Opposition is at the gate of our capital, scanning slogans about change. We need to choose what we're gonna do about that next. And look how fast we're going, but there are no friends. With worsening political situations in the kingdom, friends are at a premium. Current leaders of an opposition are Skadabi, Union Leader, and Pozenek, leader of elite players. With a tyrant type of rule, Polsky Crafter has made many enemies which before were his friends. Skadabi is a unionist who helped villagers when four years ago refugees from Crazy Adventure came to this land. Villagers built the base of our state of Red Rose, and after that they became useless to the government who doesn't care about them. Skarabi wants to proclaim the Republic and fight monopolies which use our residents and resources. On the other hand, we have got Pozenek, the later leader of Crazy Adventure. He is in charge of elite players who live happily while Pozenek's rule with Crafter coming to power when they were replaced but with Crafter's loyalists. Pozenek wants to rule this land and reclaim the lands of Crazy Adventure which are at the East Coast. The situation escalates quickly, and sooner than later we will see the bursts of emotion connected to opposition to Karathar's regime, when those two groups will unite. We are in danger, but we have the National Spirits, a Legacy of the March, which is not bad. We have strong opposition, which is really bad for political power, and we also have anarchic economy. Which some might say might not be bad, but... One man choice. Jahol is a builder who in Crazy Adventure was part of main building group. At that time, he made a lot of friendships with influential politicians like Polsky, Karathar, Puzanek, and Skarabi. When the zombie horde began to expand, he first joined the expedition as a volunteer supporting warriors with blocks and food. At the next expeditions, he would even take part as a soldier, but with connections in the administration, he was promoted to officer rank. Then with some minor successes, he was promoted to commander rank. The seventh, after the seventh expedition, Johol was assigned to political delegacy to surrounding nations. He was the main reason to make a deal with other monsters' clans which helped in the war against the zombie horde quite a bit. Johol, or Yahol even married a woman from the slime clan and was the leader of the equality movement to give monsters rights to cooperate with players after the march. He became a warlord and established his fort in the east fighting natives. He successfully claimed eastern border and built his castle there and village for his monster partners. Two days ago, Johol was called by Polsky Krafter to help them fight the op oppositionists who have united into groups called the Blue Shirts and they are sieging the capital. Johol has a dilemma because he supports opposition but he is afraid of Pozenek's authoritarianism. On the other hand, he can help Polsky Krafter but without opposition. Krafter can implement more dictatorship rule where monsters will live in the fear of extermination. What should this man do to protect his relatives? Remain loyal? We remove national. Oh boy. We lose his incompetent leader. He retires, retires. Loyal to the crafter. Or a viva la revolution. 
Um, well, I'm not really sure. I've not tried this off-screen at all, so... Loyal to Crafter, the blue shirts were slaughtered. Oh, if this guy remains in, in there, remains of power would become a stay non aligned. Built civilian rule. This happens for both sides, which is not bad. Hopefully, this will give us enough strength to beat back the Piglin hordes because they're very, very strong. Which they still might be, maybe not. A dictatorship or a monarchy, huh? Ooh, we become fascist anyways. He becomes a hedonist and a dictator, so. OP only for a few people. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Protect the villagers, which is not bad. Slavery. Do we like slaves? Can we, ha can we have slaves in mine? Hmm. Slaves in Minecraft. Craft a guard. That's not bad. I like the more population. Attack and defense on core territory and more war support. But you lose stability. But you get ten percent, five more percent recruitable population. Or rally the blue shirts. The future course: fascism and democracy. Democracy, fascism, Juho's economic plan. Boost the production. Industry. Uh, production cost, but reliability goes down. It's not terrible. And that happens for a year. Rally under one banner. 20% attack and defense on core territory. And more war support. Or, oh, you know what? You get way more population and you lose organization. I think I like slaves. I want slaves in Minecraft. So, maybe we'll remain loyal and remove the strong opposition in which we complete the loyalty crafter. We say hello to the Polsky crafter. Abolish parliament. Our regime is so weak. If we want to survive from the Piglin Horde, we need to cement our rule. Sounds very good. So at least we got rid of the opposition. Just like that, with a simple button press. We actually have advisors. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. Uh, you should. Get, you, should you guys should seriously try this, this mod out, the sub mod. I'll leave a link in the description below for both the Legacy of the Crazy Adventure as well as Overworld and Flames in the description below. Should be the first two links or so. so. Oh, that's monster equality. Oh, that's actually really strong. More weekly stability. Oh, eh, whatever. Now we can choose a monarchy, or we can choose a dictatorship. I don't know, man. A dictatorship. I kind of like slaves. Don't quote me on that. But dictatorship type of ruling will provide us with the limited power to have direct rule over all. Stability. Wow, who needs stability for the nation? Whatever, you know. Nice. We actually, oh, we can actually research this stuff. Oh, it's so good. And we're also training our ships up here. I mean, we have three destroyers, but all right. And they're almost done training too. Look at that, not bad. I love, I love it when you know some mods are not super, super developed like this one. But sometimes that's okay because we're just blazing through it. Oh my goodness, it makes me feel so good. Even though I should probably really just make start making some more divisions. 18 combat with is not bad. Crafter loyal guards not as good. Elite infantry, I kind of prefer them. So we have no amount of manpower, which is a problem. Uh, go and train. Uh, we need way more guns and support equipment. But that's fine. Four more year plan. OP for only a few people. Might as well. OP is a status of power, and only a few people can have this type of rule that will help control our country. We get more political power. Medical consumer goods. We lose even more stability. We get more construction speed, war support, production efficiency, growth, research speed, factory output. So be it. So be it. Hopefully, we can just kill everyone here. Against the world. Okay, you get plus 20% more attack. Just fire world goes time is not too bad. Hopefully, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's really not too bad at all. So after this, we'll. Uh, we could do slavery, but I think we'll do the four-year plan. Four years later, after creation of our country, we're still working at anarchic market with no clear route. Or role. We need to formalize our market to protect consumers from greasy, greedy businessmen and to create state-owned companies ensuring our people in case of crisis. Also, reason the prayer to the peace conferences as well as state challenge tool mod, just in case. Hey, look at that. OP for the few. We get way more political power now. 1.77, not bad. Like you see, the march is still pretty good to get. Even though I would like to get to partial mobilization as fast as possible. We got some hoglins. Uh, and I do want to get some tanks, maybe. Even though our industry really can't support it yet, hopefully in time it can. Let's get some production going too. I'd love to get some tanks. Also, for fighters, we do have fighters. And for close air support, we have bees. Oh, we have Elettra. So, a four year plan sounds very good to me. Civilian build up, why not? Let's build some industrial complexes to boost our economy. Even though we could use that manpower right now, we're only a volunteer only. Oh, that's not good. What do we have here? Jehol's wife would actually be. An, uh, we love. Everyone loves Jehol's wife. He's got a nice wife. Um, but, let's see. Nothing over here. Simply super, super important. How about over here? Anything? D Dildor Gold. Stwaru Coal. Oh, that's really nice. Attack and defense. Um, how about over here? Tracker XO Crafter. Chaos Diamond. Wait, is this like Chaos Diamond? No, I'm thinking of Chaos Emerald from like Sonic Adventure. Hmm. Partial mobilization. We're not really building it up quickly. That kind of sucks. But it is what it is. But you do get four more civilian factors, so that should, that will literally double our output. So that's not too bad. 
the same time, uh, what's our supply like? We need way more guns, way more support equipment. We just are not producing enough. Hopefully we get or are able to take out other enemies and do okay. I'm not sure how far we can get with this. Infrastructure would be nice. We need to get more resources, but we're not lacking... Uh, we're lacking some steel. But military build-up. Let's build some arms factories to boost our army. So we get four more military uh, factories. So we need one, two, three, and then some more artillery, because that'll be pretty much the bread and butter for what we really need here. Yeah, horses are not bad, but still. Do we have any special decisions? Oh, that's disappointing. We do not. I'll probably go with this one, too. Just building, 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 building. Air bases, infrastructure. Mm, let's go with slavery. We need loyal servants that will do anything that we do what we order. So we get even better consumer goods and more population. We lose some stability, but what is stability for us, you know? Even though it's not good since we don't have any way to get more stability every week. Which really, really sucks. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Army XP would be nice, but I'm kind of content with what we got right now. I just want to build, 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 build. Oh, look at that. 6 out of 15. Not bad. Not bad. And after slavery, let's... Oh, well, we can fill the railway gaps. Let's upgrade our railways to promote movement of people. Basic machine tools would be probably pretty good. Very nice. Let's grab some... Mm, exactly this thing. 15 percent more output. Conversion speed bonus, I don't ever use. Retention rate, base rate, and I'll go and concentrate industry this for this campaign, why not? And radio. That seems pretty good to go. Pretty good to get. Keep building, building, building. Slavery, we all love slaves. Fill the railway gaps. Let's upgrade our railways to promote movement of people, like I already read. And then we'll do the air travel. Let's build more airports to promote air travel, because we're not really ready to kill anybody yet. But we are making a few planes. We need more resources. We definitely need to expand and get rid of free trade. Um, even if we did that, though, what are the resources like around here? There's nothing here. They have nothing here. There's a little bit of wood down here. A little bit more wood. If we get down here, there's even more wood, which we do need wood, but... I don't know, man. We'll see how far we can get. Polar bears. Look at that. Hogland 3's base of guardians. Iron golems. That's pretty cool. If that's the case, we got this already. Blaze. I like these. Blaze 1, huh? Chickens? Chickens can are tactical bombers? Who knew that chickens could deliver such a hefty payload? And we got interwar donkeys? Wait, what type? Are we a breeder? We gotta be a breeder, right? If we have chickens and donkeys and polar bears... We gotta be a breeder, right? I don't know. Maybe. And air travel. Airports for air travel. Seems like a really good idea to me. Oh. Oh, yeah. We do you guys, too. Um, I'd love to build close air support. We are out of manpower, though. So, uh, good luck. Yeah. What's the core population? Three quarters of a million people. That's not bad. But that's not great. But dockyard build up? Let's build some dockyards to boost our navy. And get some more research done, shall we? Yes, we shall. That's a bit ahead of time. Good concentrated industry because I just want to make sure we can build, 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 build. Alright, up next. We need that manpower, but let's get some army XP too. And research our land auction as fast as possible. Oh, our ships are done. What a lie. And they're led by Mr. Chaos here who. Was already pre-selected. They, uh, the devs already made him in here. Uh, Admiral that we started with, Mr. Johol. Do you have anything for us? No. Okay, just convert yourselves to as a lead infantry. You go and do that. Wow, that really hurts us. And probably really hurts our manpower too. Uh, Polsky Crafter. Do you have anything for us? Offensive? Yes, please. Even though we might want to go offensive or defensive, really, it's fine though. And then against the world, Kingdom of Red Rose stands alone against imperialism. We can rely. On oh, probably only one. We shall defeat the piglins as we defeated the cheaters. The post we crafter people are unconquered. We are unconquerable. If we must win this next war alone, we shall do that too. Cool. Now, we're probably going to do resistance suppression. Just because I don't see any sort of way for us to actually core others' lands. Which is going to be a big, big, big old problem for us. Because we have no manpower already. And yeah, we're going to be able to raise the conscription level up to limited and extensive, but <clears throat> it's probably not going to go well for us against the world. Not bad. So, I guess that's it for the focus tree. Oh, look at this. Attack. Oh, there we go. Look at this. In the south, there's a city called Craftia. As a legacy concerns on Polsky Crafter, the best way to shore supremacy is to conquer the city is the center of our glory. Well, okay. I'm not sure which one it is. Do they have any... No, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go on in. Free real estate. Concentrated industry. Great. It is this year. So keep building, 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 everyone. You're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, so far. 
All right. Uh, is that the right one? I think it is. Cool. You guys go ahead and move in. That way. Take the industry, and hopefully we can do okay with suppression here. Even though, maybe we should have gone democracy, just because you get some more weekly compliance, or just increased compliance gain, so... There is that, so whatever. Um, Prince of Terror, less damage garrisons would probably be good right now, actually. Capture Diamond, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll get some more manpower, too. Uh, th this is probably the, the one thing I would probably recommend, maybe. Maybe to the devs, I don't know, but I'll find a way for us to... Well, Oh, we remove that. We don't get any less suppression. Hmm. Use the crafter loyal guards for now. That'd be okay. Find a way to re so we can maybe core stuff. So maybe leave the piglins as strong as they are. But maybe. F uh oh, they're already attacking. Uh, but find us maybe find a way to core more stuff, or you know, make sure that we don't we can get stuff. You know, I don't know if you, the person who developed this is watching, but at all, but like, that's gonna hurt a lot if we can't core anything. <laughs> So in the meantime, let's create an agency. Oh, look at that. Crazy Adventure Spy Agency. They actually created one. Nice. You gotta love it when devs actually do that. So uh, let's get that one done. Oh, well, they won, and then we won too. Thanks. Hopefully there's a way to integrate these places. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, the Undead Horde did a pretty good job. The Undead Lands. But they're probably gonna run out of manpower eventually, too. I know I, I did against the Piglin Hordes, but what else is new? Um, you guys grab some of this, why not? And Land Auction is still coming along. This is very, very good. Uh, it's t year 10. So let's grab some more cap, perhaps. Yes, yes. Any other decisions here? Oh, attack the Free Village. I'm not sure which Free Village this is, so go right ahead, I guess. Oh, there you go. And let's go and raise the conscription level. Because we need it against the world. We get more attack, which is very nice, though. I'm not sure which one it is, so I'm going to assume it's this, this one. Attack the Piglin Horde. Yeah, I don't know, man. Unite the West Coast. Okay, so you can get cores eventually. Okay, so it is this one. So we actually do get cores. That's actually really good. Oh, look at this. Incorporate St. Lawrence. There we go. It's now a core. Oh, boy. St. Lawrence. So when you select this one... When you get Kenya, Nigeria, and the Outer Force Territory, and Kyushu, which are obviously very close to each other in real life, you actually get that as a core. So there's no point to actually do this yet, maybe? Northwestern Darklands. Western Darklands. So we go to here to there. Um, and that might be it. That might be all we really need. So if you could spend political power here already to get this cord. But what happens if you just unite the West Coast and you save your PP for now? That might be a better strategy to save your PP. And use these guys, Mr. Smoochy, Sebanitsu, Mr. Dirt, Gold, and Glass. Eh, I'll go Glass. And help us put down Resistance for now. There you go. Suffer a little bit of pain right now. Oh. What, what, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Northwestern Dark. Oh. Oh boy. Punjab. Oh crap. Uh, that's not good. Uh oh. Piglin. You know what? We can have an on Christian pack with those guys for now. Why not? Hey, military factories are nice. Come on, get Kenya. Seriously, just go for Kenya. Go, 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 go. Punjab? Never been, probably never be. But take as much as you can right now. Can we go to. Yes, we can. War economy? Thank you. What are we even building? Roads? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love roads, but... We gotta build, build, build. Come on, capitulate, 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 capitulate. There we go. Hopefully they don't demand these lands either. Alright, so is that enough? We got delay. Attack... Ooh, no thank you. So we need... Outer crafter area, which I think is all this, probably. Cool, we got some research. Let's grab some of this. Mobile defense, very nice, very nice. After leather armor, we'll probably not grab this one, but maybe we'll grab some engine. No, we can't grab engineers. Military police would actually be very good to grab. Let's grab one of those for suppression. And tanks looking okay. It's a little bit ahead of time still. Extraction might not be bad. Yeah, that might not be. I'm just going to do this fine. 
All right, so much more do we have to take here? Quite a bit. That was basically nothing that we took. Is everyone good? Oh, no, you need to go very aggressive. Oh, do you still have any upgrades, man? Oh, yeah, you do, technically, but whatever. He's politically connected, so that's not good, but whatever. How many divisions does the enemy have? Zero. All right, so that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, Piglin Horde. Yeah, I'm going to wait. They're, they're looking pretty thick. They're looking pretty darn thick right now. Um, as long as they don't have claims on our territory, I'm kind of okay with this. That's a lot of wood. We're not extracting a lot of it, but it's a lot of wood. Hey, more military factories. Nice. Way more of that. We're going to need way more resources. But once we core everything, we should have a little bit, few more resources to work with. We're still mobilizing, so it's not too bad. I'll take you, get that one just in case. Yeah, it's not too bad. Some of these guys are really experienced, though. That's actually really nice. Orissa? Cool. Alright, we got a lot of political power. Um, research speed is nice and all. Communism? No, I think we'll be okay. Support for online, daily treaty deal. Get another operative. That could be actually pretty darn beneficial. But let's lower free trade. As much as I love that, con eh, that construction speed, is nice. But it's really hurting us right now. So, we could go close. I think we'll go to limit exports and see if that's any a lot better. It's not that much better. Meh. Tank, planes, pretty much all the generic ones. Army organization, defense. I might just go with defense because we'll probably need that. But let's grab this guy. So that we can do this. Oh, in 30 days. Because that's what, definitely what we're going to need. Keep taking, 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 taking. We're only out 22,000 guns. That's all. Uh, did you know Wisconsin is a capital? I thought it was a state. But okay. And, come on, come on. Go. Go to Wisconsin. Smoocher, terracotta, grass, or dirt. I'm going to go with dirt, because he looks like the spy from TF2. What the heck? All right, we love dirt. There we go. Now, let's see if we can core this stuff. For free. Oh, wait, we can't. Dark lens. Oh. Don't tell me that. Oh, oh. We need that. Oh, okay. Never mind. We got to core this up manually then. Okay, I thought we would get a free thing there, but nope. Okay, well, I learned my lesson. It shouldn't be too long, too hard to do this too long. And the trick is, is probably just to hold a line here. There's, there's a river here, so... If they get into another war, that'd be good. So we're really going to build ourselves up here then. Ooh, it is February 11th. So let's grab some of this. And get some of this. Defense. We'll really need to focus on us doing as best we can here. So, decisions. Do that. Do that. Have we started coring stuff? We get over two political power a day. God dang, that's so much. We're going to need a big army to do it, to fight these guys, just because they're, they're really big. They're huge. And, nice. 1.17. We've definitely been coring more stuff. Good. 1.28, 1.38, nice, nice. We actually had a little bit of manpower there. 6,000, 6,000 almost. Nice, anything else? Yes, please, tell me, tell me, tell me. We actually have some factories too, look at that. Nice. Um, We could use some horses. I want to use tanks. I think tanks would be a really good thing to use. Uh, Let's see, we have no rubber either, so maybe with some fighters for now. Yeah, I'm not attacking the Piglin Horde until we're done here. That's good. That's good. A core population is 1.7 million. There's more people who are not part of a core population than who are part of a core population, which sucks. It is what it is. Let's move over here and take you and put down resistance here. That's a ton of resistance. Holy bad words. All right, so can we core any of this? No? No, that's all we can core. That is not good. I think that's a definite mistake then. Why can't we core this? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is resistance so high here? Didn't it say it was going to be a core of ours? Why is it so high? Well, this might be a bug. Um. Why is it so high, though? I mean, yeah, we don't have enough manpower right now, but still. Well, that really sucks. Well, then. Hmm. That's not good. Whoops, I just should have done that earlier. Whoops, I just wasted 10 army XP. 
There we go. Maybe this will start going down a little bit more. There you go. Points. It's, it's dropping. It's dropping. My bad. Oh boy, that would have been really bad. Compliance gain is still disabled. Still disabled because it's so flipping high. Oh my goodness. This is still going up a little bit more and more and more and more and more and more and more. more. Lower that maybe a little bit more. That's not bad. Integrated support is good. Oh boy. I'll uh, get more manpower too. And then... I'm glad we went with Mr. Diamond here. Holy crud. Oh man, this is not good. I think we're going to go straight to service by requirement. This is really not good. Well, the guns are looking slightly better. Not great. Slightly better though. Can we trade? Oh, hopefully, yes, we can. I don't care if we can't even get maxed out, so. Competing machine. Better radar, perhaps. So we can make more, make more. Yeah, okay, at this point, we gotta go with... Oh, we can't go with Klaus Economy. God dang it. Oh, that's not looking good for us now, is it? We're making more. Oh. We're probably gonna need more defense, yeah. Oh, we're gonna need this guy anyway, so. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. I think this place needs to be cored. I think maybe the devs overlook this, perhaps, maybe a little bit. I don't really know. We're still mobilizing. Yeah, this is really not good. It's looking a little better, though. I'm not going to lie. It's looking slightly better. Not that much better, but a little better. It's a little bit ahead of time. I'm going to go in and do that one, because we really need to put down a lot of suppression. And we, I want to wait for the piglins to maybe start attacking someone else first, perhaps. Because we're really not looking good right now. Oh. I mean, we'll give it the best shot. If we can't win, then we can't win, you know. But it is what it is. Mm, weapons. Defense. I mean, armor would be really good to get, but... Ah, you're going to the industrial concerns since we get so much political power. Oh, man, this is not good. Do we have any compliance yet at all? No. Compliance here is just barely going up. Just barely. We barely have enough supplies to outfit everything we need. Minus 16,000. Is this going down at all, or... It's slightly, slightly, slightly going down. The shortage will last for about 275 days, which honestly isn't too bad, seeing how fast we're making things, but still. Give us what we want. And we probably won't shoot you. Give me more. We need more, 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 more. That'll help us out. That'll help us way out much more. Radio, radio's not bad to grab. Happy New Year. Let's grab some more output. I'm glad I went with a more output one. Um, aircraft designer, we'll probably go with that one. That's pretty good. That's usually a pretty good one to do. Oh, it's still not looking good. But 59% is better than what was what was that, 70. So yeah, that's definitely an oversight, I think, by the devs. So Hopefully they're watching. They can maybe change it. Unless it's intended. Maybe this is completely intended. Oh, that's a nice grab. I'll grab some better artillery first before we get more guns. Because artillery is going to be super important for us. Infantry, crafter divisions, which we're using right now. Well, actually we were. Military brigades. We need to get some armored cars, but we don't have the industry for that yet. I'd want to use tanks as two, but these guys definitely need these guys. Alright, so we got more of this. I don't want to go to service bar requirement yet, just because... Well, we're going to need more stuff. Um, we're not using that yet. Ah, go for more defense. We're going to need more defense. We have 13 guys, maybe? Maybe? No? Okay. 65%, 66%, 52%, and 13% compliance. That's not terrible. And it's just barely going up. Oh my goodness. Better artillery is nice. Uh, did we get that yet? No, we cannot. Land doctrine is still coming along, so this is nice. Get some better engineers, because we can always use better engineers. That's fine. And if we, even if we were to attack anyone else... There, oh, there's steel over there, but that would widen our base here. We've got plenty of wood. Oh, nice. Very good, very good. Get some more construction speed. That'd be good. Do we actually have enough manpower? Or is that, is that too there? Oh, no, we did. We're doing okay. But we're definitely doing better. We're missing 84,000 pieces of manpower. Wow, that is really just god-awful. Okay, so the next one we'll research was probably armored cars or something like that. And six... Almost an okay tank division. Almost okay. So let's grab some of this. Infantry and then tank stuff. That'll be nice. 70. Why is it 70? Oh my gosh. Why is it so high still? Uh, you got. Why can't you give me the goods? Let's 
Good. Give me, give me it. Give me what you got. We need more weapons. Hey, that's not bad. That's actually looking a lot better now. If that's a case. Uh, lower by one more. We need more support equipment right now. How much manpower are we lacking? Well, we have 7,000 more manpower than last time. We're making plenty enough guns, though. Not infantry equipment, which is good. Um, ship designer, just go and do that. It doesn't really matter. We get so much PP every single day. You know what? Screw it. We'll go ahead and... We don't need the PP. Resistance suppression. It'll help out at least a little bit. What was I saying that we needed? I can't remember. Besides guns. Medium tanks? Mm, we're going to wait for that for now. Cap? Why not? Oh, armored cars. Gosh, I always remember it once we do stuff. So are these, these guys just kind of hanging out and just like... Coring stuff? Or what's going on with these guys? Oh, they're still fighting a lot of other people, huh? Like, who are they fighting? All sorts of free territory, huh? Or what about the undead land? They're just hanging out. Sheep mentality, autarky. Okay. Huh. And we're now at 68,000. 65,000. Not bad. That's actually a lot better than before. Construction 3 is pretty good. Extraction? Yeah, we could actually probably do extraction. Since we get some more of that stuff, that would be really, really good. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Keep building more civvies. We want to build, 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 build. And how's resistance helping us out? 71. My goodness. It's just because we don't have enough manpower, really. We're at 57,000? Yeah. I don't know if we're, how we're supposed to attack these guys if we have not enough manpower. Screw it. We'll go this way. Mobile has more, 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 more. Because I do want to attack these guys. How many divisions do these guys have? There's a million manpower, which is insane. So, we have ten. <laughs> We've got ten guys. We haven't even made a single division in this episode yet. We're down to 47,000. Not bad. It's kind of going up-ish. Down-ish. This is such a roller coaster of what's going on here. Holy crud. Get some more extraction, probably. Oh! I did say I would grab armored cars just in case. Interwar donkeys. Yeah, you might as well do that. That might save some more manpower and stuff for us. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so after that, we're going to go and grab some chief of the Air Force. Ground support, air superiority. Yes, please. Oh, we made another division. Look at that. We actually made another division. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty good defense. But, hey, we got more than enough infantry equipment for now, which is nice. So let's make some more support equipment then. Extraction's good. Let's grab some more research speed, perhaps. And we're still building. I love it. So we can trade, trade, trade away a lot of our stuff. But seriously, they must be suffering a lot of this too. 27.5, 4, 3. Oh, no, that's going down. Which makes sense, I guess. You know, it looks like they are lacking a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I want to build as much of an industry as possible so we can make a lot of forts. So if we have to hold back behind the line, hopefully we'll be able to. We got to have that stuff, so. Thank you. Someone else can... Make up for it. Alright, so we got enough guns. That's nice. We got enough artillery. Regimental combat teams are nice. Let's grab some mechanized offensives. That's good, good, good. And military high command. Army grouping. And that's okay. Armor. Uh, this stuff doesn't even matter anyways. Do that one. It doesn't matter. How are we doing? And how are we looking for now? We're only... We're missing not that much more manpower. Look at that. Nice. Interwar donkeys. Cool. Grab some of that. That'd be good. What's going on here? God dang it, we'll have to do it. Actually, we've got enough fighters. We actually might have enough manpower, finally. Wow. Who, f who could have thought that? Go and do that. Get some closer support. And get some fighters. Um, there you go. Now you can do it. Very good. Train, 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 train. And now we're missing support equipment. No, we're actually doing okay. We actually have it under control. It only took us 75,000 years. But we actually have it somewhat under control now, which means hopefully we can make... Oh boy, more divisions. We, oh, we have 13 divisions. Now look at that. We need some more support equipment. Artillery, we definitely need more of. Uh, do we have the capabilities of building... Uh, just do this one for now. It's fine. Um, more artillery. We're out of... Good God, we're always out of steel. It's so bad. Or stone, really. Stone or steel, whatever, you know. 
Improve competing machines. Nice. Get even more research speed because we can. Oh, guys, come on. You, oh, you can't even... Oh, you're dead. Oh, no wonder you can't send stuff. Uh, how the... The Pikmin Hordes are just kind of... Are they war, these guys? Okay, so then maybe that's a bug with the AI. They stop moving. Unless... They're taking attrition here. Ooh. They actually kind of like us. Oh, man. I wish I could see what they were doing. Are, do, do they have no... I don't know. Like, they stopped moving. And I know these water areas are very, very bad. So... Is that attrition they're taking, maybe? I think we'll send some guy over here. Well... There you go. Hopefully it doesn't get captured. And I guess we'll grab... Armor would be nice. Armor grouping, just in case. Close air support, really. This one's probably the best. And that's pretty much what we can do for our stuff there. Okay. Compliance is better than I thought it would be. I mean... Okay, so we're really building up quite a bit here. Build up roads. If you have, if you want to build up roads, just go and build up roads. That's fine with me. It's not like, even if we make more military factories, we don't have the resources to do anything about it. Even if we unclose the economy, we probably still wouldn't have enough, you know, resources. So... Not bad. Radio is going to be probably incredibly helpful. As well as a lot of land ports, but build that too. And then build a... One, two, three. There we go. That's all the ports I want. And build some more of that too. That'd be good. Alright, so let's take a look. Can we see what's going on here? At all? No? Um, if that's the case, I don't want to do this, but... Maybe we could see the divisions if we can see that. Can we send an attaché, actually? Maybe we could do that. Yes, we can. Oh, I don't want to support them. Can I support you guys? God dang it. Oh, well. More defense. Cool. I definitely don't want to send you this to these guys, but... They get some more war support. Alright, so we do get to see what they're doing right now. Um, which isn't always what I want to do, but that's fine. We actually look at we actually have manpower. Look at that. Uh, oh, they're actually fighting. Why did they stop though? I mean, they're on every. Oh, they're on every front. Oh, are they? Are, are you guys fighting these guys? You're not. That's actually really good then. I'm sorry, this is taking a while for me to actually go to war with them, just because. It, oh boy, these guys are also fighting them. Oh, that would be really bad if they came in there, and beat them up. That's not good. We do have, oh, they have so many divisions of so much manpower. For the love of God, why? Stockpile. We can't see how much they have in stockpile first, but we do need to invest in our own thing here. So let's take a look at their economy and civilian stuff. Maybe we could prepare a collaboration government as well, so it help us capitulate them faster. But then again, all this territory, it's not cores. Their little core territory is back home here, so it's not good. Um, engineers. Yeah. No, oh, we already have best engineers. God dang it. Uh, civilian economy. Uh, let's do army next. Can we see more about these guys? No, we cannot. I am, uh... Not looking forward to this. I'll be honest. I'm not really looking forward to fighting them. <laughs> but we will, and if we lose, we lose. So, keep making the forts. Once the forts are done, we'll go to war. I promise you that. Because we can just go to war in two weeks with them, so that's not too bad. So, not too bad. And resistance, how is it resistance looking? F6 will show us. It's still dropping, look at that. It's still dropping, that's not... Finally, this is looking not too bad. I wish you could core these areas eventually, but it's not in the DNA yet. DNA, what am I saying? I'm saying a lot of things. Alright, so do we have any more planes? Planes would be helpful. Yes. Yes. Very good. Duplicate both. Atomic research is good. Let's grab some radar, because that helps us on defense maybe a little bit. More recon will be nice. Get even more artillery, because my goodness, we're going to dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. All right, you guys are maxed out. That's good. 16 divisions, I just don't think it's enough. And you guys are still training, which is fine. Oh, come on. Let's keep building, building, building. Oh, we're almost done. Yeah, I did say we would attack. We do have radar, too. And look at that land fort area. That's not bad. Maybe not great, but not bad. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, are we making any more divisions? What's going on here? 
They cannot do that because they need more support equipment. We're always out of support equipment. All right, so. Oh, armored cars, oh, armored cars. Oh, I didn't make any armored cars yet, dang it. Armored divisions. And we need one of these on there. We need some horses. Engineers, throw this on there and then throw some of that on there, cool. How long will this take to train? We need more horses and support equipment. That is not good. Horses. Oh, we need more resources. We can't even build because we don't have resources. God dang it. Give me more of that. It is year 14, so... Better radar, which means better this stuff. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. Five. Four. Three. Two. Gotta do it. Centralized fire control, not bad. Let's grab some more recon for our recon, because the soldiers have recon, even though they're only 18 combat with, which is... Uh, maybe we should give them more... Let's make them 20 combat with, shall we? We got enough infantry equipment in reserve for that. That's good. Oh, you guys don't have engineers. Oh, crap. Can we actually attack and win? Maybe. We do have a fallback line just in case, so... Uh, go and hold for now. Because I want these guys entrenched. And every single tile we take, we're gonna have to have a lot of land forts. Uh oh. Don't let them in. Oh boy. Improved arty. Nice. Can we get even better? Oh yeah, we can get even better arty. Look at that. So we've lost about two. Th we've already lost two thousand. We've got a four thousand. That's not too bad. Guys, please attack me. Uh, they're looking really not that strong. It's kind of surprising, but okay. Support the attack. Okay, you both are losing. Holy crap, that's not good. Uh, what What's on them? They might be 40 combat with infantry, so that would do it. That would definitely be doing it. Um, can we push them out at all? Maybe a little bit. I'm really hoping to get some more army XP. Oh, hello. We definitely need more divisions. Oh boy. I guess we could prepare a collaboration government. Uh, resume race once we're done. There you go. I'm not sure if I like this part. <laughs> uh, you guys head over there. You guys help support the attack. Help support the attack. Should be able to win a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. We've lost 4,000 versus 15,000. That's. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're on the they're on the roll. Oh, we got something done here too. Oh, they are attacking just a little. Oh, oh man, we are. Oh crap! Oh, that's not good. That's so not good. What the heck? Oh crap! Well, I'm not sure if this is really winnable. So. Yeah, this is not good. They're gonna get overran. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I don't know if we have enough divisions to help hold the line here. Well then. When we go to war, then they actually win their stupid little wars. Why? Why then, man? Why then? Oh, it's not good. Not good. We don't have enough guns for making 40 combo with infantry. Either. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Keep making those land forts, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually win here. There you go. That should help out a little bit more, maybe. Go and retreat, too. Dig in, dig in, dig in. Please hold out. For the love of God, please hold out. I'll get more engineers. Air 
No, I didn't give... Oh, that might be why we weren't winning as many battles. Okay, now we might be doing okay then. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't don't attack. Just kind of hang out. Hang out for now. Um, That is extremely short. Let him come in. Let him come in. We don't need to defend that for now. That's a really bad position to defend. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, do they beat us? Oh, crap. Ola. That is not ideal. Um... Uh, oh, construction floor is nice. How about we grab some of this? More cap. We need to raise the conscription level some more. I really don't want to do that, though. Alright, so we're kind of at a standstill. And this is technically our core territory, right? So, they're going to get more resistance, which is good. I'm not really sure if we can do anything about this, though. I'll be honest. Like, Piglin Horde. they still mightily thick. I mean, they got thickness for days. But they're still attacking, and hopefully they don't have a lot of ability to keep down... Oh, they do have a lot of ability to keep down and stuff. Oh, boy. They just keep annexing and taking and taking. Oh, my goodness. And we don't have enough to fulfill our garrisons anymore? Oh, bad word. A lot of bad words. After that, we'll go and do advanced fire bases for more uh, soft attack. Oh, that was, uh, maybe not yet. Maybe it's a later one. Oh, come on, guys. You can't give me the guts. You're actually dead, and I wonder... Undead lands? Yeah, give me whatever you got. Oh, they're just puppeted. Okay, that makes sense for them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure we can really do anything here, so... Yeah. Maybe? Uh, do anything here? No. Nice, very nice. Uh, maybe you guys can do something here, perhaps? I would love to make an encirclement. Uh, let's see. Let me go down here. Eh, we might do it relatively okay here, maybe. Let's take you guys come down through here and go right there. Take you guys go right here to go right there to there. Uh, there, but actually you're going to go all the way down there. We actually might be able to make an encirclement, maybe. Maybe. Well, those guys are dead. Alright. Could be worse. Alright, we actually made an encirclement. Look at that. We actually killed up. Wow. Not bad. This is... That's a big horde, though. That is a massive group here. Get more extraction, though. That would be really... Yeah, that's probably pretty beneficial for us right now. Uh, yeah, we're starting to run out of divisions. Oh, crap. <clears throat> okay, never mind. They're coming in now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. They're just, just, they just smashed straight through our lines. With absolute air superiority, they're just smashing through us. If they really want to, they could probably just end us. I mean, at this point, I, I'd still, I still think they're overpowered. As much as I hate to admit it, I still think they're pretty overpowered. They only have 62 divisions, though, but still. Oh boy, even more recon maybe? Oh man, oh, let me just, oh, oh, hold on, we're winning in a few places, not everywhere. Definitely not everywhere. Alright, we get, definitely gotta raise the conscription level, I hate doing it so much. All don't serve, everyone. They are really just pushing us back as easily as possible. And then, just have another defensive line maybe? Just build forts all over the place. It doesn't even matter at this point. Forts, 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 Yeah, yeah, it's really not going great. If we made these guys 40 combat width, though, you know, at this point, we might as well try it. We're just going to, we're going to ruin everything that we've got, but I don't see any other way out of this hole, so... It's going to cost us so many guns. But we still have... Oh, we actually do have enough. That's good. Okay, now we're out of manpower. That's really not good, then. Anyone have upgrades? I mean, I almost never use pure 40 combo with infantry, but hey, desperate times call for desperate measures, right? 
We've lost. That's a lot of guys we've lost. We've killed off a good chunk. I mean, it's still perfectly possible, but I don't know how much time we want to spend here just trying to win this one out. Recon threes, not bad. That's a little bit too ahead of time for us. Let's come back up here and grab some of this. More defense. 5%. Oh my gosh. Force them to die. Force them to die. Piglins. Six, six, five, 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 they still have so much manpower. Jesus Christ. So much men. So many men. Are we still mobilizing? We are, which is good. Okay. We still have quite a while for this. Yeah, I don't know, though. I think we might just end it here, just because it's probably still possible, but it's, it's just going to take an extremely long time, and I don't have a long time here. So I'm going to say it's not a stalemate. We didn't lose. We just didn't win. But if you enjoyed this video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.